Hello. Hi, guys. Let me rename myself. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you? Let me see here. All right. Yay, now I'm me. <laughs> you guys, welcome to the Monday Night Zoom. I am Nikki Moore. Um, we always use the same line so that we don't confuse our team and we just have the same Zoom throughout. So we just use Denise's. So I can rename myself otherwise. I'll be Denise all night, which is not a bad thing. But anyways, super excited to see some familiar faces. Okay. Oh. Let's see. I'm going to unmute y'all. Okay. You're all muted. If you want to participate, by all means, unmute yourself. Or there's the conversation on the side, which I'm not always going to be able to check. But um, we like to do our Zooms in a lot of different ways. I'm working. You have to wait a minute. Sorry. It's that time of the night, right? Can y'all can you all understand? Let's see. Um, okay, so a couple of things that I want to go over. Sometimes I like to do it in segments in different quarters, but tonight I'm super excited, you guys, because conference obviously is around the corner, and I feel like we are um, we're ready to rumble. I just want to be super prepared. I am always that person that things are just a little bit disorganized, even coming from a teacher background because I always feel like we need to be in action mode. We just need to be doing income producing action steps all of the time, right? I mean, I feel like if our desk is messy, our desk is messy, that doesn't pay us to have a clean, super organized desk. And you can definitely see that by the appearance of my office. However, I feel like right now we need to just a little bit of a uh, mind organization, and I think we need to get ready. And so there's just a couple things that I wanna go over with you guys, and then we could just kind of work on our own. If you have any tips for any of these things, I would love for you guys to share with us. Um, I am not the end all be all. I'm just probably regurgitating things that y'all have heard already and you've seen and um, maybe you're the ones that shared it in the first place, I don't know. <laughs> so um, the first thing that I wanna talk about is, um, well, what I'm gonna talk about is texting, Instagram, and Facebook. So I'm gonna go over probably if you are a seasoned distributor, which I see a lot of seasoned distributors on here, um, you probably already know about this. If you are new, then this is going to be new to you. So one of the things that I really want to do is just get organized for conference because um, that is our boom time. There's going to be new products announced. There's going to be new countries announced. Things are just going to keep rolling all year. I just know it. You know, I mean, I can see the excitement on Mark's face. And I feel like they're always going to have something around the corner. And um, I want to make sure that we are present enough to utilize every single moment that we're given with our business. And I believe that if we set up a little bit of prep work, then we can work a lot smarter than harder. You know, like I firmly believe that we can accomplish a lot in less time than you would like in a 40 hour work week where you go in and punch a clock and have to be there a certain amount of time. So um, I want to just get everything, all of our ducks in order. And so one of the things that I think is um, helpful is to create smart lists on Facebook. And so if you have not done so, you can create groups. And I think of it as little file folders um, for our contacts, for our Facebook contacts. And so that we don't have like this huge conglomerate, but we can actually have these manageable pieces. And so um, it's super simple to do to create it. Um, to create a Facebook smart list. And it's just a way of organizing um, your contacts. So you can go ahead and comment in this chat section if you need me to show you how to do it, um, like visually if you need to see it. But really what you do is you go to the people, your friend uh, um, or the person on Facebook, you know, and you can actually click the friend button and it'll bring a drop down menu for you. And if you're on a computer, if you're on a laptop or you're on a um, PC, not the phone, you can actually create your own list. You can add, do a plus and you can create it. And so I have a list for my loyal customers. I have a list for my prospects. I have a list um, for my um, 
for my prospects, for loyal customers, my PLCs, my PDTs. The other thing that I've recently begun to do, which has been super, super beneficial, is to create product lists. So if y'all have ever like posted uh, hair, skin, nails, and you have a bunch of people hit on it, like I want information, I want information, and they don't, they don't all close or they don't all become a loyal customer that night or even that next month and they're on your follow-up list. Um, I'm a big advocate for lists. So I have notebooks that I categorize the same way. So I kind of do it on paper and I do it on Facebook. Um, and so I will have an actual hair, skin, nails paper like list on my uh, notebook and I'll put their names down. And then I will also categorize them on Facebook because then when they throw out a buy one, get one free hair, skin, nails, all I got to do is hit up my list really quick. Boom. I send it to all my people and I can cross reference a follow up with my paper. Then I don't have to go to the list one by one if I don't want to. But the other thing that you can do with your smart list then is for the hair, skin, nails example, I can go into my hair, skin, nails feed. So you go to your friends, your feeds and I pick my hair, skin, nails group. I can go in and spend 10 minutes interacting with them like, comment, like, comment, interact with them, get that engagement up, right? Algorithm is goofy on Facebook right now. Bump that up, then go ahead and make my hair, skin, nails post, and then those people are going to be a lot likelier to see my recent post, okay? Then what I have is my list. Um, if they're not already on my list, then, you know, they get a follow-up, and then if they're new people, they get added to my list, too, and you can just write the date next to it. I just have a spiral notebook. Okay, so you can do that for each and every product that you post, your cleanse, your wraps, your fit five packs, all of that kind of stuff, your keto people. Um, I think it's very beneficial to do that. So Facebook list is one of the things that I would um, really encourage people to start to get a little bit of a command on it. You can also print your Facebook list, um, your friends list. You can, uh, usually it's pretty lengthy. So I know people that will pull it over to an Excel sheet and you can work it that way. And you can kind of look at how you want to categorize it. Now, would I spend a whole week on this? Probably not. But when you are interacting with people and you're going through with stuff, I will check, you know, their prospect. I will check to see what list they're on really quick. So you can just do a really quick double check so you're not wasting a lot of time. So um, I do add people to multiple product lists. So, okay. So, um, so yeah. So I can show you really, really quick. Let me see what I got. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it because we just have an hour, but I guess you can be working while you're, um, okay. So let me see here, let me screen share. Okay, I'm getting better at this technical stuff. Can you see my screen? Nodding, yes, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> awesome, thank you. Sometimes I'm like going and sharing stuff and they're like, oh, don't see anything. So, okay, so here is my profile, right? So let's go to a friend. Um, we'll go to my husband. And so let's see, this is a prospect of mine. So here's your friends button. Don't be afraid, you can, just hover over it, you can click on it, and it's gonna ask you, what do you wanna do? Suggest friends, unfriend, add to another list. Now, Facebook was so lovely to pre-populate some categories for me, uh, like independent distributor, it works, and some are doubles, I don't know why, I don't pay too much attention to it. You can go in, clean it up, but again, <laughs> remember the whole like clean up stuff? That's kinda last on my priority. So anyways, um, so it will kind of categorize a high school, there's prospects. So I showed somebody earlier today on how to do that. So I can just add them to the prospects, but let's say not only is he a prospect, he's asked for business information, but then one day I did a hair, skin, nails post and he commented on that too. I can also add him to the hair, skin, nails post. So, um, so that's it, it's, all, it's really, really simple. Um, and so you can just do that for each and every person. So then how you utilize that is, is you would go to home and right here, you would look on your feeds. Where's my, is that gonna be my, it's always different on my phone. There's my, oh, those are my pages feeds. That's not what I want. I do a lot of it on my phone. 
Where is it? Is my friends list. There it is. There it is. There it is. Friends list. Okay. So then I'm going to go to my friends list and it's going to show me all of my different groups. See, I got my adoption mamas on there. I got distributors that are on my team. Um, I have, now I put 2015 BTs. That's when I started the list. That's for everybody that's coded to me. Okay. So there's another way you can utilize it. So if anybody actually, it should be 2013, but I didn't even think about it until 2015. So anybody that signed up with me after 2015, they're obviously coded to me for ambassador. Um, so here's my prospects. So, um, you can just go to it. So let's say, um, here's my, it works global people. Some of y'all, I didn't work too much, but here's people that are at Works Global, okay? So not necessarily a feed that I really want to pop on, but if I wanted to, let's say it was my prospect, I might like that. Um, I might, my thing's going to seize up and go really slow. So you can just scroll through. So you can just, um, all right, yay. So you can just go through and comment on their stuff. Okay, that's how you interact with them. And that's how you interact with a specific group. Then the last thing I'll just show you while we're on Facebook before we move on. Um, the last thing that you can do is you can target that group. So this was a hair, skin, nails post that I made earlier. I could have, instead of making a public post, I could have just, um, did it to specific friends. I could just do it to specific people. Um, friends accept, just my friends. So there's different things that you can target it at. You can do your custom lists, okay? So you can just kind of target those people if you need to. All right, let's see. How do we? Okay. All right, so let me see. How do you do this? Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's one thing you can kind of spend some time on. If you're running your business on Facebook, that might be worth some extra time for you to do that. The next piece is to Instagram. You can create smart lists on Instagram as well. So this is that same concept. You want to put them into little folders. And so um, I can't really show you on here. I did make a video. I'll post it. It's like a two minute video. You can go in and click on it later or just copy the link and save it to your notes um, and, and watch it later. But basically, when you are on Instagram, I'll show you through here, it's just not gonna be pretty. Um, I was in the middle of a post. Let me just share that. Okay, so if you're pulling up Instagram, if you haven't done this yet, this is a really, really cool feature for you guys to utilize if you're working your business on Instagram. Um, because again, what the, these list things do, these little file folders, so to speak, for my brain, um, they help you to just target people. It helps you to really kind of keep your groups under control so that way you're not scrolling for days on end. Um, on Instagram, I personally use Cleaner and Captivate to help me follow. I go in and select, and then I queue them, and then they can follow at night. So um, I do that with my Captivate. So I'm still having a hand on who I want to follow. Um, and then Cleaner, I go in and manually do it too, but it's a lot of a faster view to do that. So um, here's my Instagram. And um, it's so slow. I hate that. My, I need a new phone. And I probably need to like clean up my computer. Okay. So basically, if you look at your profile, okay, so there's my profile right there. In the right hand corner above your pictures, there's a little like ribbon. Kind of. Y'all see that? Um, I think I read. Let me turn down my glare. 
maybe you can see it better. Okay, do you see that little ribbon thing? So you can click that little ribbon and it will pull up collections. So from that point, you can go to collections and you can hit above the collections, the plus. And when you do that, you can do a new collections name. I personally did dream team for my distributors that I would like to add on my team. <laughs> and then I did um, PLC is very original for my loyal customers that I want that I'm thinking might be good loyal customers, right? So, so then what I have now is two groups of people. So I've got my group set up. So now I'm on, um, I'm on Instagram and I'm looking through my feed because these are the people that I followed that followed me back. And I found somebody. So this gal right here, every picture on the bottom, you will see has that little ribbon. See that by my pinky? I'm going to click that ribbon and see how it says save to collection? It just popped up kind of. So I'm gonna click it, save to collection, and then I'm gonna have the option to pick. I'm gonna pick her for my dream team, just cause I love her house. <laughs> She's one of those, you know, gurus on decorating. That you, is awesome, right? So there you go, that's it. So then when I am taking a moment to be intentional to like, comment, interact with my people, what I'll do is you go back to your profile, I'm gonna click my dream team, and it's gonna pull up the people that I started following. I'm going to click on it. It's gonna bring me to their page. I can click their name, like, comment, go back, like, comment. And then I can be really specific with a couple people, right? I am not like scroll for hours. You know, I got five kids. I can't scroll for hours, although I would love to. <laughs> you know, it'd be super fun. But so that's just going to like minimize your time investment, so to speak. So we're using tools so that we can work that, that smarter versus um, harder type of a deal. Um, so let me look at the things. Do you guys have any questions, bookmarks? Yep, okay, good. Okay, so create your collections. Um, here is, let me, I'm gonna post this video and there is the video for Instagram. And this here, I should probably label it. Okay. And there's the Facebook one. Maybe I should label it. Okay, you can hear a kid screaming. Sounds like my two-year-old because she doesn't want to go to bed. Okay, so there's Instagram. Um, Carla, you know, I don't know. Let me try it. I haven't got that far. Um, I never thought about it. So let me click on, here's the cool thing. So that girl, I'm just going to click on her picture. And maybe I'll go to a different, uh, I clicked on her profile and I'll click a different picture. I'll put the little save to collection, PLC. And then let me go back to my collections. Hey, yeah, it works. You can put them on more than one. But you're using this for engagement. So, I mean, do you need to? I don't know. I just, I kind of set it up just that way thinking about it, but now that I'm talking through it, I mean, you could just put it on one list and just kind of scroll through, but, um, you know, you could also do this too with, let's say that you're sending out messages to people on Instagram and they're like, yeah, I would really love to help you, but I'm just not in that financial piece right now. And you offer the business and they're not interested, but they're like, hit me up later. Well, I might, re those are the people that I'm really going to put on my PLC list because they said they were interested. And so I don't want to forget them, that type of a deal. Um, Instagram is still so scattered for me. I'm pretty new at Instagram. 
um, just because I watch a lot of you rock stars on Instagram and I'm like, well, I better jump on this train here. So, um, yeah, they are. All these are kind of dream team people. It's kind of all in one. And I just think it makes for easy interaction. And so we always want to be mindful that, yeah, do we probably have to scroll sometimes and find new people? Absolutely. Cause we're adding new people all of the time, but maybe that's more reserved for those people that you want to follow at a time. Um, Claire Flores, I don't know if she's on here or not, but I watched one of her videos, how she talked about she'll pick a few people each week and actually go in and interact specifically with them, you know, let them get to know her, her get to know them type of a deal, um, and then go and kind of ask them if they're interested in joining the team after a five-day segment or something like this. That might be good to utilize that. So I think in just different ways, different tools that you can use it for. Um, does that put you can, nobody can see that list. Nobody can see it. So um, I know that at the top of your Instagram story, because it says right when you're adding it, they won't see it. <laughs> Instagram even tells you that. So we're cool. Um, but your story highlights, keep your favorite stories on your profile. I don't know about that one. I don't know if that's public. Do you guys know? I haven't added anybody because I thought, oh my gosh, they might think I'm a creeper. But if I put somebody's story on there and they're like, um, why do you have my story on there? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's the same concept. Does anybody? It puts that photo on the list. So yes, Sam, it puts that photo, but you can click on that person's name. So, I mean, essentially it's the same thing. You just have to do one extra click, but yes. So it's not like it's stagnant. It's not like you can't access that person. It's not like you're just looking at that picture. You can access the person still. So I don't know, any tips, any more Instagram tips on that, an organization or? Okay, all right. So those are two things that we can kind of, we'll probably have like half hour to work together type of video. But um, then the last thing that I just wanted to have you update is, I, the purpose in all of this is so that when they come out with a special that you know that they're gonna come out with at conference, we do not have to be like, Texting five gazillion people as the confetti is flying, right? We can be like, boom, 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 we're down and walk out and hang out, right? And just let the customers come in. That's my like, that's my image of it, right? That's my fantasy. So the last thing is to um, create your text message groups. So if you haven't yet, if you're an iPhone user, you can download the Reach app. And if you are a um, Android user, Mighty Text. This is gonna take a bit of time, but I think it's a very valuable time that you can put towards this. Again, do you wanna spend a week on it? No, but I bet you can find manageable chunks here and there and you can work on this. Um, so the Reach app is really cool. I don't know about Mighty Text. Maybe if somebody has Mighty Text, you can pop on in just a second and kind of explain a little bit of the differences if you use it. Um, but what I'm really liking about it is there's so many different, um, so many different groups you can do. So create lists, your PDTs, your PLCs. Now again, your specific products can come into play here too. And you could do them to multiple lists, but you wanna be careful when you're texting that they're not bombarded with your text. I would be mindful of that. Um, so you might just want a PLC group and they just be like, oh my gosh, I just thought I would let you know in case you were interested in, in this product. Um, you could do your loyal customers. What a great way to um, continue that engagement and that follow-up and um, that retainment of your loyal customers by keeping in touch and having a personal relationship. I don't know about you, but I um, tend to, when I get a loyal customer, if I place them, I have been guilty of sometimes forgetting about them. <laughs> if I don't put them on a list, I kind of forget about them and then they message me. I'm like, oh yeah, of course, they can help you. I mean, I want to help them and it's my fault that I forgot. That's not really a good business practice. So um, when I have them on lists, so I'm so much better. Like, it, you know, my head's all over the place. Um, so your loyals, one of the things that you can do is go right under your loyal customer report and you can start adding people um, into your contacts. And then you can um, go ahead and upload them into Reach. If you've placed them, you're gonna have to do a little bit of digging. But from here on out, it gets easy, right? Just be, right as you're placing them, put them in there. You know, and so just start start today. It's a brand new day. Um, you can do the loyals. You could do your coded team if you wanted to. 
Um, you could do a group that was promoting. Let's say that, um, you know, I'm talking like, okay, Angela's on my team. Let's say she's got a team that's promoting. Angela's working on Diamond. And um, I can keep in touch with her whole team if I wanted to create a list and be like, hey, how's it going? How's that volume going, guys? Do you need any ideas? I mean, you could create. What's cool is the text will go out individually, but you just do one text to whoever is in that group. You can also create messages. This is going to be golden for retention for loyals too, right? You could uh, create these messages and send them out. You would have to have stagger, they'd be a little bit different. But I mean, there's lots of things you can play with this. So um, what's great is when there's a promo or anything like that, you can create a message. You can even save it. You can have a pre-made message and then you could edit really quick and then you can send it out to everybody. So um, Reach is a really good app for that. Um, does anybody use... Um, yeah, it does. Thanks, for, uh, Denise. Um, it sends it out as individual, which is so cool. Jen, would me to CC? Did I, what did I miss? Um, Jen Keller, I'm gonna unmute you. What, what, what's me to CC? Like, do you CC it to you? Or no? Or even a sidebar conversation? I don't know. <laughs> no, I was talking to somebody on my team. Oh, okay. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, Carla, okay, thank you. <laughs> does anybody use the um, Mighty Text on Android? Is it sim similar, comparable? I use Mighty Text, and you can, I have not done groups. I can send out. 25 messages at a time, but I have to copy and paste individually. I can do a picture, but then it does like text them individually. So that's really nice. And I can do it from my computer, but I, the group thing is helpful because basically once you create it, then you just blast them. So. Right. And what's really cool with reach is you can delete them from the group or add to the group without like disrupting the whole group. You don't have to create a new group, which is cool. I'm so thankful because I remember when Denise um, first talked about it because she had switched over to Android, little trader, and um, she was talking about this mighty text, and I was like, oh my gosh, you can message from your computer. It made, like, made me want to get an Android instead of an iPhone, so I'm so happy that they have this reach. Um, yeah. Danielle, I don't know how many people, if there's a limit, I haven't reached the limit, I haven't hit it, I haven't used it that long, um, so I'm sorry I can't answer that for you, but um it's 10 bucks it's unlimited there you go thank you dana so yeah so um yeah and you can do a picture with this one too so like i have you know um this message thank you for your order i just did it really quick but just thank you for your order and then i have a picture of me with my family in front of the it works logo at corporate you know so it's just kind of cute you can personalize it you can add a picture and you know I'm super excited about that. So I think really just the strategy is just kind of taking a little bit of time to get organized um, and creating some, some systems for your organization. You might find some things work a little bit better than others. Um, again, I'm such a paper person, my notebook, um, but I also like these smart groups because I know that I can, with one click, I can send it out. Yeah, but it's 10 bucks, Sarah. I think of it as an investment, I guess, in your business. If you're going to utilize it, if you're not going to utilize it, then don't get it. But um, I think it would be a really cool tool if you're not already in the habit of sending out messages to your loyals or your team or, uh, you know, PDTs. Because I'll tell you what, I've had promos and I have sat there and copy, paste, scroll, copy, paste, scroll, copy, paste, scroll through my text. It, that's taken hours hours. I mean, you could really compact that time. So all right. Hey, that's not bad. 30 minutes. That is pretty much what I have. So we can just kind of work. And if you guys have any questions, yeah, we, seriously. Yes. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, 
Yeah, it does. It's a, it has an R in it. It's right here. Oh, right there. Can you see it? There it is. Right next to my keto app. That's a learning curve. Hey, you could do your keto group. If you have customers that are doing keto with you, you can do a keto group. <laughs> um, I want to say too, when you're putting in your names on reach, um, I think I might have said this already, but I have all my loyal customers and my contacts as, you know, LC, Nikki Moore, LC, Denise Walsh, DT. So take that part out. So I have to actually go through my contacts and just put Nikki Moore and then put on the third line, like the company, that's when I'm putting LC. Um, because you don't want to put it in your contact that way because you don't want the text app to go out to be like, hey, DT, hey, I'll see Nikki. You know, like that would be kind of embarrassing. Okay. It will say at their name. And you can't do a certain product unless you're going to put that in the text. Yeah. I don't do that at all. So this is a step up for me to be generic in a sense. Like, hey, I hope you like in your product, that type of a thing. Now, I mean, you could even go so far as to use um, eye contact or uh, MailChimp. There's a lot of email server things that you can use too. When I first started, I did, um, I did like a mass email company and I emailed everybody. I, I had like a whole new distributor training series on email. I did, you know, loyal customer welcomes on an email. And then the autoresponders, you can set it at day zero, day three, day 30, day 45. So then you could, it would be generic as well, but like, hey, so-and-so, it's been, you know, you're, I know that you're getting ready to order your second month's auto ship. Or do you need any help? Do you want to change your items? You know, you could kind of format it that way. And then you can set it to run at like 45 days. And as long as you put them in within a couple days of them ordering, um, it's pretty timely. I did that in the beginning. And, um, you know, that's something that you could do too. Obviously, as my whole organization grew and you become an ambassador, it's like I was paying a lot of money because it was just, I would just copy from my reports in the back office and paste it in there. Well, that just got to be too big for me. But it's something you could definitely utilize with your loyal customers. But again, it's going to be something that you're going to have to pay for. But it is another system if you're interested in it. You know, it's an option.